fire feels dark, a spark was lit, but now it's burned out. And secrets fill the air, it's hard to see. Yes? I'm sorry to interrupt your morning, but you know my roommate, Callie. Miss McKenna, yes? She didn't exactly come home last night. At 7.15 this morning, your fellow student, Miss McKenna, was reported as missing. With both the boys and girls lacrosse teams away at regional events, you were the only ones to spend last night in Abbott Hall. This morning, when Miss McKenna didn't surface from her room, Miss Parker knocked on the door, received no answer, and went inside to discover her missing. Security footage shows no evidence of Miss McKenna leaving the building through the front or the rear entrance. Do any of you remember seeing Miss McKenna after 7 p.m. last night? School policy states that we must file a missing persons report once a reasonable search has been concluded. Once the report is filed with the local police, you will all be interviewed. There is a high likelihood that all of your texts your emails, your phone calls, and your social media will be investigated. I assure you it will not be pleasant for you or the school. Therefore, I encourage you to tell me anything you saw, heard, or know. Anybody? Seriously? Very well then. I will interview each of you individually right now, starting with you, Miss Parker. The rest of you go wait in the lobby. Now, out. So did Miss McKenna tell you where she was going? Uh, no, not exactly. You're not friends? Well, you know, after she dumped Sloan as a roommate, she needed a place. My roommate never really came back from COVID, so she kind of just moved in. And she, she wasn't looking for a friend. Were you? Y you can't really force those things. She does her thing. I do mine. We, we don't hang out. So you don't get along? Well, we have different values, I guess. What? Spider! Oh, oh okay. Uh... It's disgusting. What did you do? Killed it. Like any normal person would do. Oh my god, you're such a freak. I didn't feel a thing. What do you remember about last night specifically? Did she say anything? Uh, I was studying in my room and I heard a knock at the door. Then I heard Jake's voice. Yeah. No, that's impossible. Well, I've seen it. You know, he sounded pretty upset. Upset? Could you hear what they were saying? <laughs> There's a video of you falling making out with us. Sorry, video? No, that's impossible! Yeah, well, I've seen it. But how? It doesn't matter! How, Callie? I want to know why. It's... it's not what you think. Okay, it's not what it looks like, Jake. I would never! Stop it! Callie, sorry. I'm sorry, Jake. I promise. 
promise it'll never happen again. When you promised, you promised. It was just me. What else are you doing? This is just a game for you. You're sick. No, I am not sick. What do I do? Take it back. What are you doing? Tell me. That was it. I didn't hear anything else after that. I waited a little while too before going out because you know I didn't know if they'd like made up, making out, or something else. But when I finally did go out, or was wide open, and they were gone. That's it. I just figured they went back to his place. What tape was Jake talking about? Do you know the other student? The one Miss McKenna was kissing? Yeah, you might want to ask Maddie about that. It started in European history class. I made the mistake of saying he was hot. Sorry, who was hot? Mr. Alexander. So was Matahari, the former exotic dancer, ooh la la, a double agent funneling secrets to the Germans during World War I, or was she merely a scapegoat for the French military failures? As she stood before a firing squad of 12 French soldiers, she made her final rebellious gesture. What was it? Do you know? Does anyone know? She blew them a kiss. He's so hot. Yes, Miss McKenna. So Matahari was persecuted for her beauty and her secrets? Beauty and secrets are dangerous commodities, especially during war times. They must have perceived her a threat. I see. Thank you. Good question. Any other questions? All right. Let's move on to what actually ended the war November 11th. I can't believe her. She's such a snake. I have other words for her. I just hope Jake doesn't get hurt. Seriously? After what he did to you? Why do you even care? Oh, hey, Asha. I wanted to say that I'm really sorry. I know it must be hard for you, with Jake and all. Mm-hmm. Because I never meant for any of this to hurt you. Yes, you did. Well, I don't know how, how you Do you believe in karma? What? Karma. The total of all your good or bad deeds and how they affect you in this lifetime or the next? Well, I don't really believe in anything. You should. Because karma's a bitch. He cheated on you. With Callie. Why does it feel like we're more angry about this than you are? Because you are. And I don't need you to be. Besides, what would you have me do? Fight. Yeah, or something. That's not going to change things. Look. If you're truly my friends, let this go and don't make me late for a trig. I can't afford to miss a thing and you're the only one who understands it. I can't help that I'm brilliant. Good, because you'll be tutoring me through exams. Wait, I am? You better buy me dinner this time. Is that it? What about this video? You're not gonna like it.
Who else has seen this? Liam and Raina. They had to be the ones to break it to Jake. Anyone else? Sloan and Asha. Callie's burned a lot of people. We all have the scars to prove it. I mean, back when Callie stole Jake from Asha, Sloan actually confronted her. Confronted her? You just couldn't leave Jake alone, could you? Is it all just a game to you? Because Asha is like the nicest person you could ever meet. And nice girls finish where? You knew she was dating him. Well, Jake didn't mention that when his tongue was down my throat. You're disgusting. I could say the same about you. What? Why do you think I didn't want to be your roommate anymore? You wouldn't stop flirting with me. Making me feel uncomfortable. Wait, what? You flirted first with me. You said you wanted to help and trig. So I tutored you and you said I had nice eyes. Yeah, it was just a compliment. You said you liked me. Clearly you took that the wrong way. Always asking me to do stuff with you. I'd catch you staring at me in the mirror, frickin' stalker. I couldn't wait to get out of there. You're not a good person. At least I'm not pathetic. So what happened when you showed the video to Liam and Raina? They had to figure out the best way to tell Jake so that he wouldn't get... Violent? Jake and Liam have been through a lot together. They're like brothers. Oh my God. How are we gonna show this to Jake? He's gonna lose his freaking mind and if he does anything crazy, they'll expel him for sure. Why do you say that? Remember, I told you his mom died? Yeah. But you never said how. She, uh, had a drinking problem. That day she went to a liquor store and downed a bottle of vodka and drove the wrong way up a freeway ramp. Oh my god. I got the call that night. The phone rang on the old landline and I, I was the one who had to break it to him. Um, at first he thought it was lying and then he got really mad and he was yelling and he was crying and he just went crazy. He grabbed his truck keys and he drove down the driveway looking for trouble and some guy with road rage flipped him off and they got out of their cars and they started fighting and Jake beat him up really bad. The, the cops came and he, he got arrested but after hearing what he'd been through, they went easy on him. We can't let him lose control. Besides his Aunt Lila, we're his only family and we need to be there for him all the way. Well... They were certainly there for us. Liam, you were not going to believe this. So I... Hey, what's wrong? Rain is pregnant. What? Dude, why didn't you use... I seriously don't know what happened. Maybe it broke. I... We were so careful. It was our first and only time. I'm so sorry. I believe in life, but I can't afford a baby. My mom can't afford it. She already works two jobs just to help pay for my food and housing. I'll lose my scholarship. I was going to become a doctor. Take care of my mom. Buy her a house and get her out of that apartment once and for all. Want me to ask him? <laughs> Your Aunt Lila, she uh, works at a clinic, right? Do you think she could help us? She's my mom's sister. She'd do anything for me. But dude, it's like four hours away and I don't know if... Hey, are you sure that this is what you want to do? All right, 
We'll have to go out through my bedroom window because there's RAs and they'll see us if we go through the front or back doors. There's no security cameras on that side, so they won't catch us. We'll just have to move quick if we're going to make it in time for class tomorrow morning. Thank you. Of course. I'll call Lila from the car, tell her we're coming. So you showed Jake the video? Uh, yes. And how did he react? He, he was mad and he started breaking shit and stuff. And what did you do? Told him that, that we loved him and uh, that we'd always be there for him and, and, and that we'd laugh about it one day at his wedding. And then he went to Callie's apartment? Yeah, uh, he, he wanted to break up with her and, and then he said he'd, he'd come right back. And you trusted him? Well, n not entirely. How were you so sure he wouldn't get violent with her? Um, we weren't, so we followed him. What's the big deal? What's the big deal? You made out with the teacher. What? Why would you? There's a video of you full on making out with Alexander. Video? No, that's impossible. Yeah, well, I've seen it. But how? It doesn't matter. How, Callie? I want to know why. I'm sorry, Jake. I promise it'll never happen again. You promised? It was just me. Now you're making out with a teacher? You're sick. No, I am not sick. Like on me. Oh, Dad, I'm ah, sorry! Ah, ah, get, out, get off of me! <sighs> and that's it? You stayed with him the remainder of the night? We, we all did. Maddie, Sloan, and Asha, they all came over. We, uh, we cleaned up his hand and just, just got his mind off of everything. Miss Leanders, is there anything that you would like to add? This is your opportunity. No. Well, why do I get the impression that you do? You argued, then you broke up with her. Did it get physical? She started hitting me. She grabbed onto my wrist and wouldn't let go. I took her hands off me and left. Did you hit her? Is that how you hurt your hand? I did not hit her. I didn't touch her. I swear. This happened after I left. I, I punched the wall like an idiot. You could ask Liam and Reyna, they were there. And nothing else happened? That was it. I swear, I have no idea where she is. I just, I just wanna, I just hope she's okay. If I find out that you have hit her, I will strike you down myself. Please, please believe me, I'm not lying to you. I don't think it's broken, but it's definitely gonna hurt a while. Good luck trying to hold a pencil, dude. It's not your fault. She's sick. Plays people till she gets what she wants, then moves on. We don't know what she's been through. Yeah. There might be reasons she is the way she is. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. I hurt people I cared about. I don't deserve you guys. Yeah, well, we are kind of the best. And the best looking. We're just a little short on humility. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know what? Just forget about her. We'll laugh about this one day. I need some air. You wanna go for a walk? Sure. Hey, pizza's on its way, so uh, don't get lost. If it were me, he'd be on his knees begging for forgiveness. Yeah, she's really evolved. Ugh, it's so annoying. I, I think he's gonna be all right. We'll all be friends for life. Yeah, except Maddie, if she keeps filming everybody. Shut up. You guys all suck. You're lucky to have me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as long as you keep your phone off. Oh, you want to go? Uh, is Jake here? Yeah, he went on a walk with Asha. Why?
Damn. She's like... dead. Yeah. Like dead, dead. I, I think that she fell down and hit her head on the table. What are we gonna do? Do we call the police? No way. I'm not letting Jake go to jail for something he didn't do. But we don't know that for sure. We know she was toxic. She was poison. She didn't care about anyone but herself. We can't just leave her here. We've got to get rid of the body before Jake gets back. She's burned everyone in this room. What do you think she'd say if one of us were lying on the floor? Get rid of the body, that's what she'd say. I'm just saying what she'd say. I can't be a part of this. It was an accident. She was not letting go of him. I'm not letting Jake go to jail for something he didn't even know happened. Maddie and Sloan are right. We have to get rid of the body. They'll find our DNA if we try to drag her out of here. I watched a lot of crime shows. But how do we get her out of here without touching her? I mean, couldn't just roll her up in the carpet and toss her in the dumpster. The garbage truck comes first thing in the morning. We figure out our story and by the time anyone figures out she's missing, she'll be gone. But how do we get her into the dumpster without anyone seeing us? We know a way. Something happened here last night. A student doesn't just disappear. They would need help. And I suspect one or more of you helped her disappear, one way or another. What happened to Callie is now a matter for the police. And we will find out which one of you is gonna be the first to break. You won't feel a thing. The air feels dark, a spark was lit, but now it's burned out. And secrets fill.